This brief tutorial will walk through the methods used to collect the neuronal projection data from the Allen Mouse Brain Connectivity Atlas located at connectivity.brain-map.org. The Allen Mouse Brain Connectivity Atlas is a map of long-range neuronal projections in the adult mouse brain. To obtain these data, mice were injected with a recombinant AAV virus that was targeted either stereotaxically or functionally. The virus delivered a message to the infected cells to produce green fluorescent protein throughout the extent of the cell, effectively labeling cells in an anterograde fashion. High throughput sectioning and imaging was performed, and these data were registered into the Common Coordinate Framework. I'll walk through each of these steps in more detail. The first phase of this project aimed to understand all the projections from a brain region. To do this, recombinant adeno-associated virus, or RAAV, containing the message for a cytosolic green fluorescent protein was injected stereotaxically into a single location within the right hemisphere of a mouse brain. This experiment was repeated almost 500 times using the C57 black mouse as a wild-type line and attempting to cover the entire extent of a single hemisphere. This image is an example of what the raw data looks like with an injection in the motor cortex showing projections to other regions of the cortex ipsilaterally, to the contralateral side, to subcortical regions, and to the brain stem to peripheral targets. The second phase of this project aimed at looking at the contributions of specific cell populations to the overall projections and involved using the targeting strategy pictured here. This strategy took advantage of the suite of transgenic mouse lines available from the Jackson Laboratories in which this form of the virus was injected into regions similar to the first phase of the project. In the presence of Cree recombinase, the Floxed GFP message will be correctly recombined so that only cells expressing Cree will start to produce the green fluorescent protein. This image shows an example of the EFR3A Cree line. Within this atlas is a small project that mapped projections from the retinal ganglion cells using AAV injected into the eye in 26 different Cree lines. This data set includes projection tracings, whole mount, and retinal cross-sections stained via immunohistochemistry. As the Allen Institute started concentrating on regions within the visual cortex, they had to target higher visual areas using functional maps instead of stereotaxically. Experiments that targeted injection sites with intrinsic signal imaging include the sign maps in the online interface. Because the cytosolic GFP does demonstrate basic cabling to a specific structure, yet doesn't explicitly define synaptic terminals, a study using the message for a synaptophysin GFP fusion protein was performed. Synaptophysin is a protein in presynaptic terminals and shows enhanced diffuse signal in regions with synapses in these experiments. Finally, a project to further target specific populations of cells used this strategy. First, Cree was delivered via canine adenovirus, or CAV, which is a retrovirus. And unlike the anterograde AAV virus, this tracer is a retrograde tracer, which means that CAV injection into a structure is picked up by the terminals of a neuron and transported back to the cell bodies. This means that when a mouse brain is injected in this region, which includes the somatosensory cortex and two visual areas, cells that project to this area now express the Cree recombinase. Now, when you inject a flux to RAAV into the primary visual cortex, you will see not only those projections that go to the region you injected with CAV, but you will also see what other regions of the brain those neurons project to. To give you a sense of the difference this makes, this first image shows the neuronal projections of cells that project to the structures that we injected into. And contrast this image, which shows the projections defined from the same injection site, but using an RBP4 Cree line, which is enriched in cortical layer five cells. On top of the unique genetic tools in this resource, you also have a unique method of imaging these brains. Six microscopes made by tissue vision are used in a high throughput manner, capturing the images from one brain each per day. Images of the brain were captured using two photon serial tomography in which fluorescent signal is captured 75 microns into the block face of the brain. A vibratome on the microscope itself sections 100 micron slices prior to imaging the next block face. 
This means that fluorescence is captured in the brain prior to any deformation that may result from sectioning. And effectively, the Z-plane is already perfectly aligned. A single experiment captures 140 coronal sections in two channels. The red channel, which captures background fluorescence, and the green channel, which captures the signal from the green fluorescent protein. Similar to the Mouse Brain Atlas informatics, the data is registered into the three-dimensional reference space called the Common Coordinate Framework and represented as computational pathways. This automated informatics process allows for some unique visualization and analytic features, such as being able to map out a connectivity matrix across the entire brain. This resource and this figure are described in greater detail from an article published in Nature in 2014. This brief walkthrough of the data in the Allen Mouse Brain Connectivity Atlas will allow you to understand what you are seeing as you dive into the resource. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.